This video will guide you on how to activate a parking session using your eVisitor Parking mobile app. You will learn how to activate an all-day parking session, how to activate a short-stay parking session, and how to add a new VRM. Customers who have a smartphone can use the EVP mobile app to activate their EVP parking sessions. They can download the mobile app to their smartphone using the following web address. You can log into the mobile app using the same username and password as your online permit account. Once you're logged in, you will see this screen. To activate a short stay parking session, select the short stay option. Then, select the vehicle that you wish to activate a parking session for. Once you've selected your vehicle, select the date you would like the EVP to be activated on and the times when you would like the EVP to be valid for. To select your short stay parking session date and times, first click here to select the start date. Then, select the hour and minute you wish to start. Next, select the end date of your parking session. Now, select the hour and minute you wish to end your parking. For short stay activations, the end time minutes will be shown in 15 minute intervals once you have set your start time. Once you have selected your start and end times, press start to begin your parking session. Now you will see your parking session confirmation screen as shown on the phone to the left. Now you will see how to activate an all-day parking session using your eVisitor Parking mobile app. To activate an all-day parking session, select the all-day option. Select the VRM you wish to activate a parking session for. Then select the date you wish to park your vehicle and then press start to begin your parking session. You will now see your confirmation screen for your all day parking session. Follow these steps if you want to add a new VRM. To add a new VRM, click here. Next, click on VRMs. Now, click on New VRM to add your new VRM details. You can assign a name to the new VRM you want to add. Now you can add the new VRM details here. Once you've added the new VRM, click Save. Now you will see the new VRM displayed within the list and available for parking session activations. And that concludes our guide for the mobile app. We do hope that you found it useful.